Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, last time we played this, we were on Kashyyyk and we, were, we just freed the Wookiees. And now we need to go into the Shadowlands, I believe, and find Tarful. So, that is where we are going to pick up with the game today. Wait, I thought I did this. Okay, well... I'll meet you guys when I've gotten back to where I was supposed to be. Alright, and just like that, we're back. So, took me in a couple extra tries in order to take out the, uh, that one walker. But mm. Need to overcharge this. Not a problem. Alright, where do I go from here? Do I catch a ride? I'm glad we could help the Wookiees. Freeing the oppressed, that's where the passion to keep fighting comes from. Every death, every dead end, creates a fighter who isn't afraid to lose. Enough of them, and we'll take the day. I think my favorite um, quote when it comes to like resistance and stuff like that comes from Hardcore History. And one of the things that he says is one man's oh sorry got distracted so one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter and i think that's pretty true i've been monitoring imperial communications and i picked up something project auger has been reactivated the empire may be close to finding another zeppo team looks like we still have work to do you think Saw and the others will be okay? Always looking on the bright side, huh? Hey, uh, thanks for everything. Okay. Okay, according to this, it says if I go up here, I should be good. Okay, good. Whew. Hey, guys. Hey, Seer. Cal, good to see you back in one piece. Mari Kosan contacted us. We know you couldn't find Tarful. I love risking our lives for nothing. It's fantastic. It wasn't for nothing. Mari and Choisik will come through. I like your optimism. We could all use a little of that now and then. That's pretty Hey, true. I'm a positive guy, too. I'm positive that if I die, I'll be very upset. You did good, Cal. We might not have found Tarful yet, but you saved lives today. Don't forget that. Thanks. Okay, let's head back on board, because there's nothing we can do here. Yeah, now you're thinking, let's get out of here. Okay, let's travel to Dathomir. The Dathomir bound. Setting course for Dathomir. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the force? What, like Jedi? These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. <laughs> During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. No. You don't have to tell me twice. Okay. Ah, coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. All right, the mod might do its thing again, so just be prepared. Oh, nothing. Careful here. 
This is a deadly, dangerous place. I'm prepared to face anything. I know you are, Cal. One of the many reasons BD-1 trusted you with Cordova's information. We're lucky to have you. Here we are on Dathomir. standing there. What is that well. thing? Wouldn't count on them being friendly. Uh, I wouldn't either. Nidak uphold a strong defense against its aggressive and relentless attacks, easily thrown off by repeated parries, referred to in legend as the Scourge of Dathomir. The deadly lesser Nidak is an agile and highly aggressive alpha predator. Its carnivorous appetite and relentless pursuit of prey make it a deadly foe to nearly all other life forms. Powerful arms allow it to traverse terrain in diverse and unparalleled methods, often surprising its quarry. So watch out for it on the wall. Bane Back Spider. Capable of launching ranged attacks of venomous saliva. Upon death, corpse will emit a toxic acid. The vile Bane Black Spider. Bane Back Spider. My gosh. Is a venomous foe to be reckoned with. Primarily a hole dweller, they are known to skitter and climb with agility. Even for a win encountered, they can project venomous saliva at enemies with a range of up to 12 meters. Caution should be taken if they are killed to emission of a toxic acid that will pull out from the corpse upon death. Lock tight. Get my uh, loop box here. You just need to know, don't you? What is it, BD? Uh, BD wants to get me having prime. That suits the planet. Okay, somebody set a fire here. Hydratus. The Hydratus grows in dry, rocky areas. Air is filtered through its filaments, which trap dust of bacteria. Once filtered, the filaments contract to lock clean air inside. 
creating a human environment where the hydratus can absorb the small amount of water it needs to survive. So, breaking it open is helping the environment, right? Bushlings are an essential ingredient in the ink Night Sisters and Night Brothers use for their tattoos. The Bushlings pods are boiled down until they become a thick, yellowish paste. From there, clay, ash, or other pigments are mixed in to create a variety Here of colors. Here you, BD. Let me see. I've been here before. Burial pods. Burial pods were an essential part of Night Sister funerary rites. Whoop, completely lost it. Lugano, Kashik, Dathomir, Flora and Fauna, Night Sisters, burial pods. Um, readying each component of a pod was a painstaking practice. The cloth wraps were washed three times in magical waters. The twine hand braided while reciting a spell of protection. And the bodies cleansed with fragrant oils. This game's a lot buggier than I remember. Stim BD. The night sister practicing her craft. Years before they were wiped out, the night sisters came together in this area to practice their magic. Effigy. No data found. Appearance suggests nothing good. Don't fall behind. Looks like the Zephyr were here. Strange. This place seems abandoned. You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... Take it 
you can match me? Stop him from moving! Try harder, weakling! Go forward! Kill the outsider! Come, fight me! Weakling Jedi. Well, shoot. Don't fall behind. Oh. Good work, Find another loop. <laughs> A loop box. Oh, you found something. Uh, an emitter. Surprised there's no L on that thing. Look here. Here we go again. Don't let him rally. <laughs> Not so bad. Hold <laughs> closely. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Knight Brother yeah. Warrior. Skilled and nimble, strong defense is advised, including mindful opportunities to strike. Dodge their unblockable overhead attack. Knight Brothers are a male warrior subspecies of Zabrox, based in Dathomir. For centuries, their simple society has governed was governed by Night Sisters, witches that ruled the planet but were decimated during the Clone Wars. Territorial and extremely hostile to outsiders, fighters in their ranks are highly acrobatic, agile, and proficient in a variety of mixed combat. Very nice. I know I just said we could help each other, but I just killed some of your people. I hope that doesn't hold any bad blood against us. Alright, so I, I added something to my slow. Now I can use it to... Um, slow multiple enemies and a single casting of it, use of it, and then I can use my dash a little bit further out. Or night brothers. Get up close. Help me, brothers. Fight me, you coward. Dathomir's deadly, man. Intruder, below! Caught me! Brothers, aid me! Come, brothers, join me! Brother Archer, dodge a unblockable charged energy bow with projectiles. Deflect slash reflect normal shots from energy bow. A society of male warriors, the Night Brothers are a subspecies of Zabrax based on Zathomir for centuries. Uh, they copied and pasted a bunch of this. Extremely hostile to outsiders, Night Brothers are skilled fighters proficient with a variety of weapons. Among their ranks may be found archers, capable of launching ranged energy bow attacks with deadly accuracy. 
Much better. Thanks. I found you, intruder! You cannot defeat our might! Oh, you're kidding me. Come on. Right to the bottom. Trespasser, down there! Yes. Stop stalling! Just paint job. The racer. Come on, try me again. Oh, this is a completely different area. Okay, I was getting confused. Alright, loot box me. Hey, BD, in here. Huh, there was something in there. Switch. Saber table? What is that? Are we fixing the bottom of it? Oh, yes, we are.
Don't know why I had to come here to do that, but... Uh, the double-sided lightsaber excels at crowd control. Use the force attack to overwhelm and clear large groups of enemies. Uh, continue blocking after successfully reflecting a blaster bolt to reflect additional bolts back at your enemies. Nice job. Someone was drawn to something here. Energy from the ruins? Someone was headed towards the ruins. I felt the, the pull of a dark, ancient energy. I see you met the resident knight sister, but uh, unlike most, you're alive. <laughs> well, lightsaber? No, no, don't hide it. That would explain your survival. Who are you? you no, no, no one to fear. <laughs> Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophies. You study the knight sisters? I study many things. But yes, that night sister. Oh, she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about those ruins? Oh, oh, ancient beyond belief. The night sister and her warrior kin was seduced by the power that lurks within. Avoid the ruins. Or suffer the same fate. How do you know so much about the Night Sister? Observation. I've seen many things since coming here. What does that mean? Must it mean something? Too many great minds have gone astray in pursuit of. Order. I gotta get going. Yeah, I can't jump that high. Yeah, far. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the ship. I'll meet you guys there. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. So since I can't. Since I can't jump that high, I think that's an ability I get later in the game. So let's travel back to Zepho. But before we do that, let's end this episode here. So we were able to get back to the Mantis. We were able to travel to Dathomir. We explored it a little bit. We found out that um, there is a Night Sister here with her Night Brothers that do not have a liking for the Jedi. And we're going to travel back to Zepho so that way we can see if there is another step in Project Augur that we need to know about. But for now, I hope you guys had a wonderful evening and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.